everyone, so by popular demand from several of my friends, I'm going to be making a step-by-step -step guide on how to make animated GIFs with custom animated text and stickers throughout it. So it'll be a frame-by-frame -frame process and we'll show you exactly how to do it. And just as a preview, here is the GIF that we will be generating. So there's a lot of different ways to go about this and if you have some fancy video editing or photo editing software, this would definitely be a much more streamlined process, but I'll be showing you how to do this just with websites that you can access from any computer without having to download any software. All right, so the first thing you have to do is uh, find a video clip that you want to use and this could be anything, the possibilities are endless. You might be watching something on TV and think, hey, this would make a fun meme. And all you have to do is basically find a video of it and I already have some stuff pulled up on YouTube. Uh, I really like to use clips from WWE just because of how versatile they are. Um, so I'm going to use this YouTube video and just copy this link. There's a couple different ways to turn this into a GIF. So what I like to use is this website called giftrun.com. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and paste my YouTube video into it. And once I'm in here, I can just select where I want the video to start and how long I want it to be. Scroll up there to 301, and then I'll make it about eight seconds long. All right, so once you've got it converted, you just want to download the image and then go to this website called gifandtext.com and you can just go ahead and upload uh, that GIF to this website. All right, so once your picture is uploaded to GIF and text, uh, we want to find a headshot, in this case of myself, to add as an animated feature to this GIF. So I've already got a headshot pulled up, but again, the possibilities here are endless. So I'm gonna use what's called the snipping tool. Uh, it's featured on every Windows 10 device, so you just need to search for it, and then you have to make sure you're on a free form selection here and then click new and then basically I'm just going to take it and select right around my face here. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to go ahead and save it and I'll just save it as headshot. So once we've got that, we're not done yet. We've got a picture of my headshot. The only problem is the background is not transparent. All right, so to go ahead and make that background transparent, what you have to do is go to this website called remove.bg and we're just gonna upload the headshot. And it's basically made the background transparent. If you really want to, you can do some touching up. As you see, the edges aren't completely perfect here. Uh, but for the sake of time, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with this. All right, so now once we go to add image, we'll go here to my downloads folder and we'll just go ahead and add this image. So as you can see there's no background now on this image and it looks much cleaner. So we're on frame one and I'm going to add my face here. So you can rotate it, move it around, resize it as you want. So once we go here I'm going to click animate and then here's where the difficult part comes in. So I've got this picture and I'm animating it. So what you want to do is you can go frame by frame and you can click these buttons, but as you can see, there's shortcuts to doing it. So D will move it forward and A will move it backwards in the frames. So I'm just going to use my keyboard here. So when I click D, as you can see, we're changing frames. So I'm going to click D and just move it again, frame by frame. Every frame you want to be following where you want this image to stay. So we come to a part here where my face isn't, um, or Brock Lesnar's face isn't visible here uh, in this frame. So what you can do is you can um, crop this layer to uh, on this taskbar down here to end at the frame before this. Or what I like to do is just kind of move myself out of frame here for one, um, one or two frames. So I'm still out of frame here, and then I'm back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this back down here. And again, frame by frame, we're just going and moving it. So here, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. So again, you wanna try to match it as best as you can, but 
it, the gift moves pretty fast and you don't have to be perfect. Um, it won't be that noticeable. 11 minutes later. All right, so we've basically come to the point where uh, Brock Lesnar's face is no longer uh, visible there. So I'm just going to crop this or um, edit the duration of this picture and basically bring it to the last frame that it was visible. Now we've got my, my face visible um, on this GIF, so we'll just get a quick preview of it. And this is what it looks like so far. So now that we've got this animated with my face, we're gonna add some more elements to this. So I'm gonna go to add text and then let's say like this. We'll say this is my chem exam. I'm sure there's been plenty of chemistry exams that have uh, done me in, so we'll just use this. Exact same thing as the image uh, we just added. You have to do this frame by frame. To do that, just go here to animate. Uh, so we'll make Ray Mysterio my chemistry exam. So again. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so we're gonna add one more element to this picture and that'll be form of one more text. Go to this frame and then I'll go to add text. Um, so again, exact same thing. We're just gonna add it frame by frame with whatever text we want. A few minutes later. All right, so now we've added these three different layers to this image. With that, we've basically got our GIF finished. Um, and then we would basically just click generate here. And so we just go to generate GIF here and it might take a couple minutes. For so once it's finished, you can just go ahead and click download GIF here and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, there's no watermarks on it, which I really love. And again, the possibilities here are endless. Uh, I've made some really complex images or sometimes something more simple like what I just showed you here uh, is all you need to get some funny laughs.